Okay, we're in AIM Race Studio, and I want to export just one lap in a KML file to Google Earth to look at it based on the imaging of the, you know, the actual track. Um, right now, if you export, and we're going to go ahead and do that now, export KML to Google Earth. I'm going to give it a junk name, AAA, save it on the desktop. And now we go here, and there's our A. If we were to open this file, it would show all the laps on top of each other, which is kind of useless. So the workaround to this is uh, do a Google search for GPS Prune. It's a little Java applet. We're going to open it up. And now we're going to open the file that we just made, AAA. And there it is. And basically, uh, these are all the laps on top of each other. So um, I know it's the third lap that I want. So this is not a perfect program. This is the way I figured out it works for me. There's 6542 actual plots for all the, uh, the laps. And um, you can see a range up here. The way I do it, and you may figure out a better way in this program, is I bring up autoplay. And autoplay plays it back in faster than real time. So it's starting, you can see the numbers up there. I'm going to park my cursor on the pause button. So it comes out. This is at Lime Rock. So the car is coming on the track. OK. And it's out. And then we start lap one now. And then we come around. We start lap two now. And we come around and we start. And I pause. And then. Um, I'm going to close this and then if you you can increment it I think start finish is right around there so now I'm going to hit this button which is the set uh, the beginning of the range now the quickest way to do it is to just hold down and just run through we're in lap three right now and as you can see under point details it's showing you the numbers um, if you were to be exact with the latitude and longitude numbers, you could get you could get it so there's no gaps and no overlaps. But for this purpose, I just want to do it as quick as possible. So I'm coming around and I'm looking for the start finish again. I'm going to say it's about there. Okay, now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to hit uh, set set the range out point. Now we need to, we only have the one lap, lap three selected. Now we go to File, Export KML. We're going to make a new KML. I don't know what this is. I just put in garbage name there. The key is just selection you have to select. And I like changing the track color to be what Google Earth is roughly. And then we hit OK. And now we save it. I'll call it AAA one lap. And then we save it on the desktop. And now we quit this, and now we go here, and let's open this up. And there you go, one lap. And that's the beauty of this. This is a really cool thing when you can get, oh, you see, I was slightly off. See the, see the uh, gap right there? But the point is, what's important is being able to look at the corners, and zooming in and seeing where you are in the track. Um, I really hope that AIM um, incorporates this into the next version of their software, at least a way to export single laps. Uh, into Google Earth, or even better, a, f a function like this that could use background imaging um, would be very cool. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you like it, and uh, please subscribe to my channel.